What's up, what's new? What is happening out there, YouTube? It is Aaron, aka Feldy. How is everybody doing today? For today's video, I want to talk about uh, positivity in Magic the Gathering, uh, particularly in maintaining a positive attitude as you are playing the game. Now, something happened um, while I was streaming the other day. A conversation happened with a friend. Um, they happened to, they commented that they decided to try something new while they were drafting. Now, they'd asked me sir, for some advice, and they decided to take my advice and try to copy something that I do, which is to try to be as positive as possible when uh, I'm streaming and when I'm playing. So they copy, uh, so they tried to copy my positive attitude, and they commented that they did uh, particularly well in the draft, a combination of the positivity and the advice that I gave. They also commented that um, someone else in their household actually uh, commented on their positivity, or more precisely, their lack of negativity. Just sort of like, man, you weren't complaining about Mana Screw, you weren't frustrated, you weren't annoyed, like you looked like you were having fun and enjoying yourself. And that of course made me think and made me want to do this video here. So, Magic is a complicated game and Magic is a game that we get emotionally invested in. We spend a lot of time, we spend a lot of time thinking about our decks, about playing, we spend a bunch of time practicing, and it can be incredibly frustrating given that there is a luck component to the game that when you sit down to play, that all your preparation, all your hard work, all of your thoughts can um, can sometimes just end up down, uh, end up doing nothing because of luck. And it can really bring us down and it can make us just feel bad, like, man, mana screw after mana screw man this happened man my opponent got lucky man all of these things and it can really weigh on a person because you came out to have fun you came out to win you came out to do good things and now everything sucks and your deck can't draw well and you are just like why can't i win at this game i just want to have some fun and the problem is once you get into that point you can't, it's so difficult to break out of. And once you're frustrated, you just keep doing worse because you are now, you're spiraling, you're tilting, you are feeling bad. And because you're feeling bad, you're playing worse. And because you're playing worse, you're feeling bad. And because you're playing worse and you're feeling bad, you just need to get it out. And suddenly you are ranting and you are raving and it's a problem. And you just took a night that was supposed to be fun and now you're frustrated and now you're angry. I had this problem and I am speaking very much from experience. I went through a period as a player where I did exactly the things that I talked about. Where I would get frustrated about my losses, where I would get down on myself, where I would get just annoyed that cards weren't coming out right, my opponents were drawing better than me, all of these things, and I kept feeling bad. And eventually there was a breakthrough. Um, and I no longer remember where that breakthrough came from, but the breakthrough is this. I'm playing Magic to have fun. I enjoy this game. I love this game. If I'm continually going out and being frustrated when I'm supposed to be having fun, why am I playing this game? What if instead I just try to be positive what if i try to enjoy it like hey mana screw happens at least i'm out playing magic hey my opponent drew lucky at least i'm out playing magic and when i made that change when i made that change to my thinking and it did take some time to get used to when i made that change to my thinking things started to look up and then i tried to embody that and then i tried to embrace that and it's just like you know what yeah sometimes mana screw happens some, but I have won just as many games because sometimes Mana Screw happens to my opponent. Sometimes my opponent draw, uh, draws well and it is frustrating, but sometimes I top deck that bolt for the win. Sometimes they top deck that bolt for the win and I just happen to top deck that counter spell the turn before. All of these things are an element of magic and they all combine just to make this game one of the greatest things that it can possibly be. So if I can stay positive through that, and if I can start to enjoy the things about it, 
the game becomes more fun. And it did. And the more I found I was having fun, and the more positive I was finding, I was... They kept, uh, instead of that downward spiral, they were an upward spiral. Suddenly, I'm having fun, I'm positive, people want to be around me, and I'm enjoying the game, and I keep looking forward to it, because I'm going out and enjoying the game. And, because I'm no longer this negative Nancy who's just frustrated all the time, other people also want to interact with me all the time, which is was absolutely wonderful, which meant that I was developing my friendships even more, and also having fun, and also playing magic, and suddenly, like, everything that was frustrating me and getting me down was suddenly just gone like that, and everything is good and amazing, and all of that happened from positivity. Now, I know, this is a little bit of BS, just like, just think positive, but seriously, when you are starting to get down about things, just don't think about how bad it is. Think about think about how it is on the other side of things. I know it's going to be difficult. I, it's not something you can change overnight. But seriously, the next time you go to play Magic, try doing these things. If you're getting frustrated, close your eyes, take a breath, and flip it. If it's, I have just flooded the last three games in a row. Just remember about all those times that your opponent and you were stalled out, and then your opponent proceeded to draw and play four lands in a row, while you drew a couple creatures and you were able to win that game out. For every time that your opponent top decks that win, just close your eyes, take a breath, and just go, how many games have I top decked the win for? And when you start to do that, and you start to go, you know what? My opponent top decked the right card for the win? That's an amazing feeling for them. Congre congratulations. Like, hey, lucky top decks happened, and they are the most amazing feeling in the world. Just like, hey, I had the bolt, and you're just like, congratulations. Like, hey, sometimes you have the bolt. That's awesome. And... Hey, sometimes you rip four creatures off the top when you're in the midst of a creature stall out and you win the game. And you're just like, you know what? Yeah, absolutely happens. I hope it happens to me next time. And if you try doing this, if you actually try doing this, you'll probably find that you are happy at the end of the night and things are going to go well for you. And because you were happy, and because you were starting to recognize these things as being patterns that happen repeatedly, and mostly because you're happy, you're not going to notice the negatives as much when they happen. And they're not going to happen as much in some ways because you're not frustrated and making bad decisions that lead to those. Now, that, that's a little bit difficult. I am I know I'm sort of implying that if you're happy, mana screw might not happen, but if you're frustrated, you might not be thinking objectively about the hands that you're keeping and what they ultimately lead to with uh, how the game plays out. Whereas if you are positive and you're starting to think about this, when you look at your opener like, I've got two lands and five spells, I need to hit some lands, and then when you hit four lands in a row, you're like, no, I guess I actually started the game and was like, you know, I needed to hit four land. I needed to hit land, so I guess this is flooding at a different point. And you just start to recognize these things. And I can honestly, I will a hundred percent promise you this: if you start thinking more positively, you're gonna start winning more games because no one ever won a game in the midst of a tilt. If you are sitting there frustrated, slamming the table, just angry about mana screw, you aren't winning. You are not going to be winning games. You have dropped too much, uh, per too many uh, percentage points. You're just going to lose far more than you win. But if you're positive, you're not going to have that negative. You are going to win a lot more games compared to if you were in a negative headspace. So please be positive. Try some of the things that I talked about here. Let me know how they go for you. They have been a game changer for me, and I honestly think they will be a game changer for you. All right, everyone. I hope this wasn't too rambly. 
I know sometimes I can just uh, get my thoughts out there and see what happens, but hopefully some of these things helped. If they did, please sound off in the comments below. If you have your own ways of approaching the game posit uh, positively, I would love to know about them. Um, and if you guys ever want to talk about these things uh, in person uh, rather than in the comments below, I stream Sundays through to Wednesdays on Twitch. We get a link below. I've also got a Discord uh, that I've got. Similarly, please find that link below uh, where you can uh, reach me almost any time where we can discuss these things or hit me up on some of my social media if that's your uh, preferred way of interacting with people. I uh, love to respond on those things too. All right, this video blog has been kind of fun to do. Hopefully I will see you guys in the future for the next one. Thanks and uh, have a good one.